Alright guys, Slim here, and today, I'm going to be talking about cell division. Again. But now I'm going to go into more specifics. How does it affect you in three different ways? One, growth. Two, repair. And three, reproduction. Well, uh, growth, uh, uh, basically, growth is basically a direct uh, byproduct of growth. No, sorry, it's a direct byproduct of cell division. So let's say we have one cell. That cell is eventually going to grow and cut itself in half. Uh, so that now it's got two cells. They're the exact same size as the first one. So, and as you can see, those two are going to go off and eventually they must put themselves in half. And now we've got four. Uh, so that process will go on and on and on. And uh, whoever you are or the, the cell, we start growing, growing, and growing until, well, here I am. When I was in my mother's womb, uh, I was just a little tiny cell. Uh, and eventually, well, I got here. So all the little cells, when they developed me in my embryo, uh, so they developed my eyes, they started to develop my brain, everything inside me. Uh, and then eventually, we got to this. So I'm not fully developed yet. But eventually I will. Uh, let's talk about repair. How does cell division affect repair? Well, uh, cell division affects repair in the way that, uh, let's say I went and burnt myself. I got this cup. <coughs> I was going to make myself a cup of tea. And then, oops, I burnt myself because I put the boiling hot water on my hand. No, that's, that's not going to be good for acting. Don't expect it to be good at it because I wasn't trying. Anyway, uh, so now my hand is burnt. It's not actually, but let's just say it is. Uh, there's a new cell coming up, and they're going to take away the the dead cells, and they're going to eventually come out of me somehow. And then they'll go, and the new cells go and take the place. So once you've taken out the trash, you now become the new. Uh, you, <laughs> once you take out the trash, um, you become the new garbage man. Basically, as a, as a metaphor to explain it and help you remember, reproduction. How does it help in reproduction? Well, it helps in reproduction in the way that if you're a male, you have sperm. If you're a female, you have eggs. Uh, that they're both in terms of reproduction, they both act fairly simply, uh, except when one, once they're fertilized, then they'll act very differently. Uh, <coughs> so your egg. If you're a woman, uh, is is going to get somehow it's going to be made. Uh, it's only ever going to make one. But what's going to happen is, is that cell is going to go off on a journey, and it's going to get the nutrients from what you've eaten, uh, and then it's going to split itself in half. So now you've got two. Uh, and again, the the process will repeat, and again and again and again. The cycle eventually, uh, you'll have like 180. Uh, and once that keeps on going, uh, eventually, you will uh, basically have so many that, like, uh, l l let's say I, uh, it, it, during intercourse, uh, the sperm gets fused with the egg. Uh, the more egg you have, the more eggs you have. Just egg. Uh, the more eggs you have, uh, the, the more likely the sperm is going to fuse with it. So... Eventually, once the sperm fuses with the the egg, uh, usually you get a baby. Sometimes you might have a miscarriage or some other problems, but uh, usually that's what's going to happen if the two of them fuse. Uh, so once that happens, you get a little baby, uh, and eventually it's going to grow up to be a normal person, hopefully. Uh, but anyway, so that's how they help in reproduction. Thank you guys for watching, and goodbye.